welcome to my channel my name is megan if you are new here don't forget to like and subscribe below we do a ton of nespresso content as well as unboxings and reviews of products that will help make your life easier today we are doing a nespresso review so they recently released a new blue bottle coffee collab so if you're not familiar with blue bottle coffee it's a I don't know, like I think like a small roaster basically in the United States that has um, coffee shops. I think they also sell matcha and people like love them. So when Nespresso released their first collab with them last year, people were super excited. I did buy that sleeve and I had never opened it. I intended to film a video and I just never did. So this is blend number one that was released last year. This is a Grin Lungo size. They just call it blend number one. The origins are Ethiopia and Uganda with tasting notes of plum, compote, toffee, and raspberry. It has an intensity of four out of 11. So I figured since I never tried this one, oh, I figured since I never tried this one, we can try it with the one they released this year, which is I think a full coffee size. So 7.7 .7 fluid ounces. It has an origin of Gitega Hills, Rwanda and I apologize if I mispronounced that. The tasting notes are jam, ripe fruit, and caramel with an intensity of three out of 11. So I know a lot of people were kind of disappointed that the intensity was gonna be so low, but I prefer like a more like medium to maybe high, but still medium intensity coffee as well. But I, I feel like whenever I listened to maybe James Hoffman, who's like has a lot of coffee videos and is like really, really, knows a lot about coffee, way more than I could ever know. I feel like he said something maybe about how coffee, when it's like a lighter roast, has like more flavor to it um, and has like the ability to have more flavor. So maybe that's why these are lower intensities, but I'm not really sure. Um, I'll read what they say about the coffees. So for the one from this year, it is a single origin coffee and they say, if coffee were a concerto, this coffee from Gatega Hills, Rwanda would be music to your ears. The beautiful washed Arabica beans from Gatega Hills are a longtime favorite for Blue Bottle coffee. Nespresso and Blue Bottle have come together as an ensemble to reinterpret the brew for the Virtuo system. A delicate and complex coffee emerges, singing with sweet caramel and jammy ripe fruit notes. Finally, subtle white flower notes make this coffee charm to any palette. I think I read those last words wrong, but it sounds interesting. And I think the pods are just blue. This was very expensive. So this is, I think, like the classic blue bottle color. It matches like, it matches the blue like here and on the blue bottle label right there. For blend number one from last year, what they say is two distinctive philosophies to coffee together in one blend. In our first in a series of collaborations, we join the signature brightness of blue bottle coffee with the unique Nespresso crema. This blend harmonizes the vibrant fruitiness of a naturally processed coffee from the renowned Yurgachev region, I probably didn't say that correctly, of Ethiopia with the deep jammy notes of a natural coffee from Uganda. And so that's the one from last year. They look like pretty much identical except for the size. So I think I'm gonna brew both of them and we can try what they taste like and give them like a little taste test. I will, I will say they were both pretty expensive. I think, I don't recall exactly how much the one last year was, but I do think it was like up in the $20 range for a sleeve. And the one this year was $22 for one sleeve. So I did only get one sleeve and I feel like for that price, it really should be good. But I know a lot of people were like turned off from the price. So let's see if it's worth that high price. <laughs> Okay, I have the two coffees here. So this is the blend number one, the Grand Lungo size. They both look like this, just the other one's a little bit bigger. It smells pretty good. I mean, it doesn't taste like that light of an intensity at the four out of 11. It's pretty good, I like it actually. I wouldn't say it's like super fruity, like La Completa Refinata, I feel like was that a pod that we had? It was like the black one with like the red writing. That one was super, super fruity, I feel like in like a good way. This one's not like that fruity, but still I think you get like a little hint of like that raspberry. 
let's see what this one tastes like. This is the one from this year, so it should also be like jammy and caramelly. This one smells sweeter. I mean, it's also pretty good, like, even though these are low intensities, I don't really feel like they lack flavor. This one definitely tastes more watery, though, than the Grand Lungo size. Um, it doesn't taste quite as robust. I don't know. <laughs> but it does, I do get those, like, the, like, smell of it is quite nice. And I feel like you get the notes kind of in the smell as well. But yeah, it's not, I would say the one this year is not really worth that price tag. Like, it's not a bad tasting coffee. The notes, I think, are, like, there, like, underneath. But if I'm paying that much for a coffee, I don't really want it to taste, like, that watery. I think the Grand Lungo one from last year, which we can't get anymore, is pretty good. So hopefully if, they, if they're doing these, like, once a year, I'm not really sure. Like, hopefully the next one is, <laughs> um maybe a smaller size, maybe the smaller sizes are better for the way that they want to roast their coffee, I guess, and how it like blends with the Nespresso like technology. A little bit disappointing, but I think let's add a little bit of maybe like oat milk and maybe some caramel. So I have my Califia Farms oat milk. I'm just gonna add it cold and I'm gonna try it in both of them. And then I think I'm gonna use this caramel syrup, maybe like two pumps. This is the Pure Made Tarani Zero Sugar. I think the English toffee syrup for the Tarani maybe would be better with the blend number one since it has toffee notes. I haven't been able to find that at the store though, which I'm really bummed about. And on Amazon, the English toffee one is like $17, but that was definitely, has been one of my favorite syrups that I've ever had. I think with the caramel it is nice. I think for the Grand Lungo, maybe a little bit of frothed coffee, like frothed milk would be better. This tastes more watery when I add the oat milk for sure. I think it would taste a little bit uh, more flavorful without the oat milk, which I know is not, maybe my taste buds are changing. I don't know. That's not normally what I would have said in the past. For the one from this year, the uh, Gatega Hills Rwanda. Yeah, I mean, I think it tastes better like this purely because I like a coffee with like uh, milk and sugar and that's what this gives it. It definitely isn't a strong coffee. So I think adding that to these Nespresso coffees I found does make them taste like more watery basically whenever you add that like oat milk to them. But this, if I am going to finish this and probably this is probably how I'm going to drink it. So yeah, I mean... They're not bad coffees, but I think they definitely aren't like the strong ones that you might expect from some Nespresso pods. Yeah, let me know if you've tried them. <laughs> Did you spend the uh, $22 to try this pod from this year? And if you did, how are you gonna drink your pod? I would love to know. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.